Hi, this is Scott Marshburn with eCabinets Tips and Tricks. Today I'd like to show you how you can export cut lists to Excel and modify those cut lists to shorten up the cabinet name, change the numbers that are stored as text into actual numbers, and a little bit more. So stay tuned and see how I've done it. So what I've done is I generated my cut list here in eCabinets and I want to export that into Excel. So I'm going to click on Export Cut List to Excel which will open up a workbook and I'm going to come over to sheet component listings and I want to remove everything in this column here except for the cabinet number so I want to remove everything after this dash from this dash on over I'm going to highlight column H here and I'm going to go under data and text to column. I'm going to click on delimited and next and I'm going to uncheck tab and check other and I'm going to type in my dash or my minus sign. Now you can see it, it made a column right here but in this particular case I also have some assemblies that have a dash in it so it made a bunch of other columns also. Um, what you could do is go next and click on the columns that you do not want to import and select do not import column but I'm not worried about that because I know that I don't want anything from from here over so I'm just going to click finish and I'm going to highlight column I and I'm going to hit I can hold down my control key and my shift key and hit my right arrow key and I can right click and delete which will remove all those extra columns now I need to remove these inch symbols and the height and width because I want to turn these into numbers. So I'm going to go under my home tab and in, under find and select I'm going to click on find and click on the replace tab here and I want to find my inch symbol or quotes there and I want to replace those with nothing so I'm going to leave this blank and I'm going to click on replace all now it's saying we're all done we made 110 replacements I'm going to click OK and close now you can see that there's a green triangle in the upper left hand corner here and there's a, a yellow diamond with the explanation point if you click on that it, or hover over that it says this number the number in this cell is formatted as text or preceded by an apostrophe now you can click on that and click convert to number and it will convert just that one cell. I want to do every possible cell in here that is formatted as text. So I'm going to click in A2 here and again hold down my control key and my shift key and hit my right arrow key and my down arrow key which selects everything in this worksheet that has data in it and now we'll click on this diamond here and convert to number and it converted all those into number now all I need to do is format my column width and what I'm doing is I'm hovering over the area between the two columns and it turns it the cursor into a bold line with the arrow on the right and left and I just double click and it automatically format the width of the column to fit the text that's in it. Now I don't need insect carbon so I'm going to highlight that whole column right click and delete that column. I do have edge banding in here so I'm going to keep that. Now I just want to dress this up a little bit so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm in uh, column A1 here or cell A1. I'm going to hold down my shift key and my control key and right arrow and down arrow and go under my borders here and put all borders now you can get as fancy as with this as you want you can make these bold and you know do all kinds of different things but I'm just giving you a general ideal now another thing I need to do if I go into page layout and under print titles and print preview you'll see that I've got four pages here currently I'm in portrait orientation I probably need to be in landscape orientation which will now give me one of two pages. Now you could play with your uh, 
borders. Um, you could play with how this is centered on the document and all that kind of stuff, but this gives you a general idea of how you do all that. I'm going to go back into here and now I would just save this file as my job name, whatever job I'm working on. And you know, you could do the same thing in the board stop listing and whatever other reports that you want to go through. So on the next video or another video, I'm going to show you how you can do this by recording a macro. And no matter what sheet you're on, whether you're on sheet component listing or board stock listing, it will automatically do this in just a split second. So stay tuned for that video. And please subscribe so you can get all my latest tips and tricks. And as always, thank you for watching and have a good day.